Is there a desert in the interior of Canada? I've heard that there is, and I even saw some pictures of what looked like a beautiful sand duny kind of desert in the interior of Canada. Um, I hardly believe my eyes, so I have to go see it for myself. I just left the town of Medicine Hat, Alberta. I'm heading north of the Chance Canada. It's about an hour north and just over the Saskatchewan border. So I'm going to sleep somewhere up here and check out. Well, I'm going to look for this desert first thing in the morning. So join me as I look for a desert in the Canadian interior. Let's go check out this sunset. Wow. I was just taking a moment to appreciate this sunset and um, notice that there's absolutely no sound whatsoever. It's completely silent here. This is it right here. This is why I slept last night. <laughs> middle of nowhere. Uh, a major intersection though, or you know, a pretty big intersection of two main roads, but in the middle of absolute nowhere, uh, nothing but flatness all around. I, I rolled in as it was when it was already kind of dark, so couldn't really see. But yeah, I guess that's Saskatchewan for you. This is where they grow the food. <laughs> nothing but fields as far as you can see in every direction. desert that we're gonna see if it exists or not. Nothing but fields all around. Uh, I do see one vehicle behind but no sign of life otherwise. I just pulled over for a minute here uh, to appreciate the endless uh, fields in all directions and I couldn't help but think why is it still so yellow? It's October now. Uh, the drought is, you know, should be behind us. It's a rainier time of year. Has it not rained here yet? Or do the fields here stay yellow all the time? Do they never get greener than this, like crisp yellow color? If you know, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I'm curious. Does it never get greener than this? Is it always totally yellow? Man, is it spectacular. Uh, people like to bash on the, the prairie provinces for how boring they are. I find it absolutely spectacular. Endless flatness in all directions. Fields as far as you can see. This is where Canada's food comes from. This is where it's all grown. Sure, you know, you grow it everywhere, but nowhere more so than here as far as the concentration of agriculture or whatever. It's just it's agriculture everywhere. <laughs> just, as far as you can see for probably hundreds of kilometers in all directions. Boy, at this rate, we're never gonna get to this desert, but uh, I had to stop to get a shot of this old barn. Looks kind of abandoned over there, doesn't it? says uh, 2.8 kilometers till these supposed sand dunes and uh, I don't see any sign of sand yet it's just uh, regular ro fields like grassy kind of grasslands uh, rolling hills and stuff I don't know we'll see well that's kind of promising the road is pure uh, white white sand basically like really sandy not dirt anymore so that's promising things are getting sandier I 
feel like we've found some sand dunes here. Uh, those look like sand dunes over there. Let's go see what's going on at the top of this hill here. Yeah, I had forgotten how difficult it is to walk up a hill in this kind of sand where your feet just sink in. It's like you're only covering half the distance that you should be because you're sinking back so much every time, every step. It's not easy walking in this kind of sand. Oh look, a structure full of boots. Look at this. All these gnarly looking old boots. Wow. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, there's dunes way over there too. Wow. How about this? Looks like it's going to be a hike. If I want to go see those dunes over there. I don't know. Do I feel like walking all the way over there? A couple kilometers maybe? Yeah, it's a legit sand dune. It's not that big. Well, actually, I would say it's pretty small, but it's a legit sand dune. This is cool. Right here in southwestern Saskatchewan, an hour or so off of the Trans-Canada. Epic. A real sand dune. It seems so out of place. It's just grasslands all around and then one random big old sand dune. What's it doing here? How did it get here? I haven't looked it up, but I will. Yeah, what a peaceful morning. It's chilly. It, uh, I think my thermometer said, well, it said one degree earlier. It might be a bit warmer now. Yeah, it's right chilly. Not a cloud in the sky. Well, we're a couple of them that way. <laughs> um, pure sun though this morning. Great morning to check out a sand dune. Okay, well. I'm gonna get back on the road. I've got to drive at least 500 kilometers per day on average if I want to get home uh, by next weekend for a little family Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm gonna make tracks today. Thanks a lot for joining me to come check out Southwestern Saskatchewan's sand dunes. I uh, was pleasantly surprised. It was absolutely worth the trip out here because I love deserts and sand dunes. Uh, and so, <clears throat> yeah, it was a, a successful little morning detour. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon.